all right i think we'll be fine with this box and set this guy right here there you go it's in so we done with this guy right here we're not gonna touch it anymore we got all the wiring um set up okay so come back here and do the same thing okay so So we're done. So now this box is stabilized now. It's not going anywhere. My hand is the one that shake but it's not going. Power on, power off. Power on, power off. On, off. So we're done with the boxes. We just come here and put the wires right there and right there. We are done. Done, 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 done. All right, guys. Uh, this is what it is. This is how far we've come. And the wire inside, see how it was twisted. It was designed. So we just follow the configuration here. So we can go back and install the positive or whatever. And negative. So if we decide to use any of these wires right here so we can take this it comes here the red because it goes like a loop here and goes right there and we can use the black from this guy this guy right here and plug it right there solo is already on so we take this ones to the panels negative the positive goes to the panels now the solar panels like are connected and all we do turn the power and that's it before the sequence how you're gonna run this system the batteries already installed to the boxes here the bosses so they are boss bus they're really good these are good boxes thick plate the batteries can come down here. It depends on how many strings you have. You pop this guy just like this. You can keep that cover for future thing. And I can able to write total amp hour here of the battery. So the batteries are in here. And we come here trying to turn the sequence for the system. And uh, push the power on. And what we do, this guy right here. This guy right here, when we turn this guy on and we push the button right here, the screen display turns on and you already done all the programming and everything. You can just go back here and turn this guy on. Solar is on. And all of a sudden, you can hear a click, the relay, and it's going to start producing. So this is almost coming to an end of our install and everything turns out pretty good and uh, like what happened I have to go back here and put some heat shrink if possible and uh, it's right here as well and thanks to my viewer the mentioned this to me I was gonna do that anyway but they mentioned that the robots come in here because I was worried about these guys and I wasn't gonna use this rubber uh, isolator or protector see that I put a heat shrink here is um, a half gauge um, no like a two inch to hold the one hot cable one slash zero so I think I have to take these guys back out and do the same thing or maybe I can just leave them like this because everything is m measured 
correctly and tight fit and everything is the length is accurate so taking these guys off it's not gonna be easy and going back trying to put them back in with the insulation like this is gonna tighten up the entrance here so I don't know I think I'll just leave them the way they are and I think we'll call it a day and the system now is running if you want to shut down the system make sure back you go in the reverse so make sure you turn the panels first off panels off then you turn the power here the inverter and disconnect the batteries that's the sequence okay like and subscribe jw solo usa thanks for watching love you guys all thanks for being part of this project so we're going to be installing this box right now for the ac and goes right there output we're going to just use ac1 line one we leave line two as a special programming and uh right there is a uh, is a grid input this is the only one that has the ground on it this one at the ground so that's gonna be with one of these breakers okay so it's gonna sit right here and shoot the power right in there measure the wire caught it so you're not gonna put a um, the ground wire is not gonna be on the breaker you can't put a uh, ground on the brake so that one goes directly to your at ground rod okay or your 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 ground boss bars so you can ground all this stuff the solar PV you got a ground rod for it so this one these two comes to this guy here and feeds right here for the generator or the, the grid for charging okay and this guy right here goes to this box right here it's a nice box and um, it's non fusible so the um, the wire coming from here the out goes in to the line right here you choose side which one you want the uh, brown and the blue to fit into and the uh, output is gonna be here it says load see that right there load this one goes back to your house okay so don't feed it the reverse if you feed the line in here and it said because your line is all the way up going to the house then you have a problem so the load the line comes in here from this guy here the output and we're going to go on the corner here and tap this thing and put a strain relief there to hold the wire not to be yanked and goes in here and we feed them right here so the at ground from this guy we can able to use the ground to the ground boss right here we can run our system on the load and get the at ground all the way this one goes now to the at ground we just pop this guy right here knock out to the ground rod so your, your line comes in you see that line the line comes in here so that means the output of the inverter comes in and out here is the load you see the load right there goes to your breaker panel all right thanks guys and uh i think this is going to be the last show i'm going to show you all what i'm, I'm going to be doing here and from there we gonna try and light up this system and we just go from there so this is just the, the wiring of the system i already uh just demonstrated or showed you guys and i hope you like what you saw and stay tuned for more to come live from this channel jw solar usa live from minnesota bye for now looking pretty